I read this book in year 2008 exactly, but it happened that I was uh, having my lunch and I was I used to have lunch on my bed. I read the newspapers and accordingly I will put the thali or, or the plate over that and I'll eat. So it was a uh, around 3 p.m. 3 p.m. or 2:30 p.m. I was about to I finished my lunch and I was just about to clean my things on the bed and I was just cleaning that plate and I threw that uh, I took that newspaper and just threw it in the dustbin so while cleaning the plates I was using the some of the dirt which was remaining into the dustbin when I when I was about to open that dustbin I saw something written there I saw like what is this it was written as laws of spiritual world in that dustbin I saw very minutely written something struck me I don't know what happened so I picked that newspaper out of the garbage cleaned it up and just started reading it what is this oh this is laws of spirit world okay this sounds interesting so I thought that why not give a try so I purchased this book, somehow ordered it online and at that time it was available in hard copy. I am not sure whether it is right now available or not. So I read this book one time, then I again read it. I read it three times. I liked it so much that I read it three times and like I, I was thinking that till that day I was literally sleeping in this world. Uh, my life uh, was almost having nothing but uh, nothing till now. Our life is what we make it. Whatever color, whatever face, whatever height, whatever diseases, whatever our journey, this is completely chosen by us. Now, when we come here, then we forget that and we start struggling that why this, this is happening to me why I am suffering from IBS why I am suffering from any other disease why I am not getting promoted why my life is like hell why I am so much stuck in a situation why I am not able to make right decisions why I am suffering so much why I am not able to learn things why I am not able to implement things why I am not committed why i cannot speak like others why i cannot sing why i cannot talk like others why i cannot become rich why i have to live with the people whom i don't like why i have to work so every why each and every why is chosen by us only and it it is something we had already promised ourselves when we are not when we had not taken the birth in the as a human male or female we look at our our angels who are this book writes that our angels the master and the angels show us four or five type of lives they show us that this particular life has this much opportunities and this much negativity now they will show a life of another person who might be very rich but he will be having some disease then he will they will again show some life of the person who might be not very good looking but he might be successful and he might be very strong character so it's about the soul who wants to have utilize this free will so to cross that journey like they decide everything is shown to them their future is shown to them like this will happen and this will happen and they will be ready and they promise themselves to that they will be ready to take that those challenges and they will learn from it that is what the life actually means on earth but when we come here we actually forget these are our challenges we start taking them as weaknesses we start taking them as something which we did not wanted and why this is happening so actually we forget things and that's why this book says that 
this is like this forgetfulness is is chosen by the soul itself this is a rule of the god because if we will not forget our real colors won't show if we think about a automated script we are the hero and we behave like a hero and we are already knowing things and we are deciding things according to our we are knowing that this will happen we will decide this this will happen we will decide this so to if that was the script it was completely mechanical like so that's why as we take this birth on earth we become forgetful we our all the memories of our real home that is heaven our all memories of our past births are taken into the subconscious mind and that part is great like that is not becoming visible to us so then we start facing challenges we will face money challenges we'll say face health challenges we'll say fa- uh, face the character challenges we'll face every challenge and i tell you why this is the best time to understand this because the more the harder time is the more you suffer the more you are able to cleanse your karmas those people who are living very very happily still are maybe very blessed or maybe the evil souls they are their approaches may be very good in past but might be that they are quite evil souls that's why they are not suffering because current times is the times which is very difficult and i would say that if suffering is happening to you you are really lucky that because you are paying off your past karmas and past karmas paying is what we are here for you are not here to build a permanent home you are not here to build a bank balance and big property you are here to just complete your karmas which are like not getting properly uh, like corrected or neutralized laws of karma says that we are we are going to take birth as a human to neutralize our karmas we have some past karmas and we build the present according to our reactions will come the more we will pay off the past karmas and we will build, uh, help in building our uh, doing our karmas that they do not generate too many reactions the more easily we will be able to to transcend this human consciousness now it's really important to understand that when we come here we are identified as a male costume or a female costume or maybe a neutral costume it's also a choice which we have done consciously because we wanted to focus on particular qualities when we took birth on earth but again i'll say that we forget it as soon as we are here it's because uh, gods or angels want to take our real test a person who is really stuck in that memory that why she is born as girl she did not wanted that life and she is suffering here she is not having the freedom she is not able to decide things she is beautiful and pe- people literally tease her make do eve teasing make fun of her they try to uh, molestate her so she she or uh, she feels very unhappy that why i took bo- took this birth as a female i should have taken birth as a male and may have not faced this problem my dear friend like this is the problem with everyone male themselves have their own problems female have their own problems it is subconsciously decided and that what this book says that we as a male or a female have some certain specific paths or journeys we have chosen to and that's why we are here to experience them and to learn from them and to become the the real awakened soul so in this journey we are not alone because when as soon as we descend on earth we get many things we get our guardian angels we get our uh angels which are guiding from the other realms and we have also got our subconscious mind so we work under the guidance of these three things which are always watching us they are always watching us 
when we are sleeping, when we are doing anything, we are doing wrong, they are watching us. When we are doing right, they are watching us. So it's like, don't worry. If you are doing things good, then definitely you are yourself increasing. It, it, it doesn't matter anybody seeing or not. Anybody knows you how you are. It doesn't matter. You may be very right person, but others are not able to understand that. It's completely okay because your subconscious mind knows that. Your guardian angel knows that. And the heaven sitting angel knows that. And so this is about your journey and the competition is only with ourselves. It's not about competing with your brother or your sister or your anybody for their their good looks, for their height, for their uh, success, for for other people's success, for having somebody having beautiful wives or, and you are not having that that thing in your life. It doesn't matter. It's all about just our journey and our learnings from it because at end when we will die, our physical body will just remain here and what comes is the soul and soul will continue its journey even after death and this soul might experience uh, the the realms which is according to his or her karmas in this life so a person who is trying to hide anything from the people he thinks that he is very smart he or she and she uh, he or she are continuously committing crimes and crimes are not committed only by actions they can be even committed in thoughts that's what I came to know uh, by reading this book because earlier I told that in 2006 and 7 I was quite uh, a curious person I was having those uh, fancy uh, kind of fantasies kind of things before women for other for many relations I I had something wrong in my head. I used to imagine, I used to enjoy it during imaginations. So later I came to know by reading this book that the, even this is wrong. You cannot even make mistakes in your dreams and your thoughts. That is one golden thing which I learned from this book and I started implementing and changing that once I read this book because what is in our thoughts? See. It is about like when we are awake, our earth or our life becomes our reality. But as soon as we go to sleep, the our dreams and our other world becomes our reality. So it's it's very, very thin line between this reality. Maybe the dreams are true or maybe this real life is true. We don't know because we also do karmas in our dreams we also do karmas in our thought we need to ensure that whatever karmas we are doing by actions by use of our five senses and use of our intellect they should be pure when this that purity prevails a person automatically gets liberated in form of health he or she might have those good health experiences and in case of male they might be able to control their real character for a male it is a test to control their lust anger and like po possession of things because male character says that possess so a male may be very possessive to his relationships or may be very possessive to his uh, assets or may be very arrogant that he is very successful but he might be also thinking wrong about the women around he might be thinking that he is just a male and there is nothing female in him it's not the truth because we are the combination of both energies and this is like our mind perception that we are just a male costume so as soon as we get liberated from this feeling we just try to keep our uh, karmas so much minimum that we are just focused on our real task our family and our society and we are not more focused upon women beautiful women what they are wearing whatever you are very comfortable even if woman is standing and she is wearing nothing yes 
this can happen if a person is such a characterful person and he has become a person who has transcended his lust then he will be very normal with the person if if a feminine energy is standing in front of you and not wearing anything because he doesn't have that desire to 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 appreciate somebody's beauty is different thing but to having desire to possess something overcome something or any thought to take action on that that thing is something which is not required as a male it's our responsibility to very characterful that is one thing male needs to learn for female females it is very important to learn that they need to understand that they are here to cooperate they are here to learn to build like build a internal mechanism that is beautiful external beauty is no use if some person is not beautiful from inside when you are beautiful from inside you tolerate you it and it doesn't looks like tolerate you you cooperate with people you understand people you give care you extend relationships and you become the the caretaker of every person whom you really care and who knows you so this is the feminine energy in uh, this is something which female needs to focus on yes i know that the world has changed and they are now struggling hard to find their ex external existence in this world they want to become self independent and they want to live life without ma their male pa male counterparts but it's okay because it depends upon thinking every society has their own norms and something is taboo and something is good but i would say that even if you become self independent never lose respect for other uh, males just respect them okay you are do not have any uh, like you do not want to intermingle with males that is okay but respect them that is what is needed from female side do not look everything as just greed and money and do not understand that males are here just for the lust and for like doing wrong things male have their own journey and they have their own uh role to play and females have their own role to play this earth cannot live or this earth on earth the life is only possible by male and female union and it cannot be possible without a male or female union because we are not the gods gods are are so much potent that they can produce children without even union they have that power but as a human being we do not have that power so coming back to this book this book teaches us that we should become pious not in our just external things we should become pious in our internal things and we should not waste our time on this earth because this earth journey is a lesson kind of thing which we are here we are here to learn this is a school this is not our real home like we have completed our school and now moving forward that's how this earth is also a school and once it is complete we will be moving forward so this is uh, something uh, written there in in this book also explains about the power of the subconscious mind uh, the subconscious mind has every memory into it all the past memories and knows very uh the the future about it but it will never reveal so the because if future gets revealed the person real character won't be shown and that's why this book tells that god allows the darkness to exist because if there is light everybody will be behaving properly and people won't understand the importance of light that's why darkness is important aspect during which a person shows his or her real colors to the world so that's why god allows evils to exist because if there are no evils then real character of a person won't appear 
it's his free will to go through evil ways and make life big or his his own good ways and make life successful so on earth we have three kind of souls which are there which is good bad and evil the difference between them is that good souls never think negative about others and when i say negative it means that they do not want to harm anybody they might be egoistic they might be uh, not helping others they might be uh, having some like limited mindset but they do not think bad about people so uh, bad souls are those who are not mm, not thinking good about the people they are trying to harm them but they are like becoming something sometimes guilty conscious so bad, bad people they are karmas are not good they are harming people they are taking advantage of people but they themselves in their heart are feeling that uh, that they are doing wrong so this is the difference between good and bad now comes to evil evil are the evil souls are the souls which are taking advantage of people they are harming people and they are enjoying into it they don't want to improve they think that that is only the way to succeed in life they think that if they are not doing that somebody else will do that so they don't want to waste their time they want their advantage and they want to exploit people and they literally enjoy exploiting people so they want to kill they want to loot they want to do everything because it gives them enjoyment they are not doing it just for their existence there may be a bad soul who is doing this for their existence like looting people so killing people but they might be feeling bad but evil soul does not feel bad at all they think that that is okay and these people belong to the lowest and the lowest realms that that is beyond the earth once they are going to die they will hit there where there will be no uh, light and they will be crawling and whenever they will be trying to overcome that they will be surrounded by evil souls and those evil souls will make their life hell so it is the suffering which cannot be imagined to these people who are evil even bad people are will be having the suffering as soon as they die but the chances are that once they reach there they might have some awakening and but the thing is that they do not get chance and very difficult to get the chance because they are tra- trapped into an endless circle where evil souls want to use them for their evil uh, plans so sometimes you can see that some of the animals are pulling so much load they are being loaded loaded and they are crying they still have to take load on earth those are the bad souls who have taken birth as this animal and suffering their past memories are with them and they know that they are paying off their karmas that's why we have this bad things happening to many people because they themselves have decided to take this as a karma now god is so beautiful and pure that he doesn't allow any bad like uh, killing of anyone or suiciding or raping or looting he does not allow this way of getting bad happen to people it's because these evil souls plan it that way and that's why bad things happen to people who are really good but god allows the karmas to be like neutralized in form of very good ways like uh, take like in living in the extreme situations uh, carrying on heavy load carrying on heavy responsibilities having depth having uh, health issues so these are the ways god or the, the nature decides to give us that karma back but evil souls they plan the the murder of somebody or the rape of somebody that is not in the the god's dictionary these words these words are decided these words these evil souls decide so this is god justice is infinite and it's so so pure and so so spiritual that 
humans do not ca cannot understand it it's reality that we come to know the real god only when we die when our con subconscious mind becomes the active one right now our subconscious mind be 2% active for somebody it may be 20% active some for somebody it may be 30% or 40% or 50% depending upon the level of the spiritual spirituality but as soon as we die our physical mind dies so our subconscious mind which is 98 99 100% conscious at that time so it makes us realize who we are that's why i said that don't wait for that matrix or that death to happen to real realize your real potential it is the time and this corona is the time to understand and make your life journey big and impactful think good live honestly and even i also try i'm i won't say that i'm a great person i'm such a loser person i have remain such a loser but losing is not bad it's about just wanting to win is bad losing is okay because you realize that you have so much to improve it's about that winning that makes a person bad that he thinks that he or she is so good that everything is good i would say that i have to learn so many things still i'm such a loser still but i what i have learned that i will try to keep implementing that so that's why reading this book can change anybody's life and i have like personally gifted to many people this book not sure whether they read it or not <laughs> but i whenever i get time i always read that and whenever i will read that book I, my mind will be like blown away like because we forget it's not like once we read a book it is forever no we have to again and again refer that book read that book use it for our purpose only then our life will become the real goal and th then we will shine for ourselves people might not feel it but you inside yourself will feel that aura no more you will feel that you can do wrong and nobody will know that you will feel that i am watching me and i know i what i am so that's how you start improving yourself people will see your commitments happening even without they they, they following you so that's how a person becomes real jewel real diamond of his life he might be just a carbon so for some people but inside himself he will become diamond and it's not by arrogance it's by the the compassion it's by the empathy it's about realizing it's about losing lose yourself and see what you are actually that's losing will make your life a jewel so this book literally changed my life and i'm still trying to read sometimes this book and it again changes my life what i will say in 10 years 11 years uh, 2007 2008 like it has been more than 14 years so i keep always this book be beside me and i will keep learning uh, now i have the audible part of it but i i'll just switch on that particular area i'll read it listen to it and i will be oh i didn't i was not doing this sorry i will be continue to do that um and don't worry that people are not seeing you as successful you have your own success measures never ever think negative about if you think negative just raise your voice the more negative inside voice comes to you the more pitching you do for yourself i've seen this sometimes my mind won't stop saying negative things then i will make my voice loud no i'm this i'm good i'm i'm confident i'm no more having ibs it will remind me you had bad ibs you were suffering now what you are doing are you joking you are you have got yourself right ibs is not healing uh, like curable how you are getting right you think that you can continue you think that you can exercise you you think that you can 
uh, you cannot sleep whole night and still remain healthy this is what mind makes you it 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 tries to grip you it's it's their spiritual energy which can make it happen the way the things you want to and to tell you body is working on vibrations and energy if your energy becomes so high that you need only 4 hours of sleep then your mind might complain and again again but your subconscious mind knows that it will keep making you awake for only 4 hours so never underestimate the the power of yourself and if you think that your negative self is more becoming dominant then raise the voice of yours and talk to yourself do strong talk to yourself every day i do this because i've suffered from depression for very long time that's why i do very strong talk to myself that's why some people might find me very uh, bold because i feel that sometimes you need to be in life very bold with yourself only then you can change your life people think that eating one pill or doing that for 2 3 days will work no it's not going to work you have to be consistent consistent and if you consider me as a guru then just be consistent what you are listening or what i am saying to you i will also try to be consistent because if you are consistently following me automatically my energy and your energy will match and automatically we will be connected not knowing uh, our minds may not be knowing so this is it why what i wanted to say today i always overextend myself i thought that 2 minutes will be okay but see 34 minutes are over and i want to speak more it's coming from within and my dear friend when it will come from within inside you you will be if you are a person who is having ibs though that will be gone i confirm that no medicine can cure you you have your medicine in your body and that is capable of fixing every every single problem in your body so good night take care me signing off